Hello, welcome to another Warrior Engagement Navigator Pointer. In today's pointer, we will be discussing how to send relay messages to members of your organization. Let's start off by opening up your browser. Go to getinvolved.wayne.edu. You will then be taken to the homepage of the Get Involved website. In the top right corner, there's a blue button marked as Sign In. You will then have to log in with your WSU Access ID. You may already be logged in to get involved if you are already signed in to Academica on your browser. If you scroll down on the homepage, you can see all the organizations that you are a part of. Click the organization's roster you wish to send the message to. Once there, on the upper right corner, click on the button that says Manage Organization. You will then be taken to the screen. Once here on the top left corner next to the name of the organization, click the three bar hamburger tab that will activate the menu drop down. Then select roster. In the right corner, click messaging. From there, you will click create relay. From this page, you can select the officers and positions and or specific members you would like to receive the message. Then you will have to create a subject. This should be the same subject as your email subject line. It'll then tell you the total number of recipients that will receive the email. Click Generate. You will be taken to the Message Relay Details page. Here, it will give you the temporary relay email address, and it will tell you the exact time when this link will expire. Please note, you must send the message within this time. If not, your relay link will expire in 24 hours, and you will have to repeat the previous steps. Copy the temporary email address and put that in the recipient to section of a new message in your Wayne State email. For the subject line, make sure it matches the subject in the Get Involved Relay Message detail screen. Proceed to type your desired message and send. After you sent the email, return to the Message Relay Details page. It will now show you the new status of your message sent. Also, it's important to remember that if the recipient receives the email and responds, that response only is sent to the sender of the relay message, not everyone who got the relay message. And that wraps up how to send a relay message. If you have any questions, please contact the Dean of Students office at 313-577-1010, and they will happily answer any additional questions. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our page. Follow us on all our social media platforms and visit our website for more tips and tricks on how to stay engaged and get involved. Go Warriors!